This is a video for beginners who haven't done any improvements to their photographs before. So this is just going to be a very quick tutorial on how you can crop your photographs and clean them up a little bit and reduce the size so that you can send them off. So double click on the Photoshop icon. Choose the edit option. Once you have Photoshop open, you can go to File, Open, and choose the photograph that you want to change. And I'm going to take this photograph of a horse and open it. So here's your picture, and it's not a very good picture. But maybe this is the only picture you took of the foal, and you want to send it to a friend of yours. So let's go to the toolbar, and first of all, let's crop the picture. So we click on the Crop tool. And we draw a box around the area, and it doesn't have to be that accurate to start off with. So click in the left-hand corner, drag down, and release your mouse. And there you've selected an area. First thing you want to consider now is do you want to make it a certain size? So at the top here, you will see the options for this crop tool. And I'm going to decide, right, I want to use a 4 by 6 ratio. So I click on the 4 by 6 ratio. You'll see I've got these squares in the corner, which is what I can use to make the picture smaller. And I grab the corner one, and I drag it in. And it keeps the 6 by 4 ratio. And I look at that and I think, yes, that's what I want. At this point, you can either tick it to say yes, you want to crop it to this size, or you can use the cancel operand. But before we do that, there's one other thing I want to show you. Here you have the resolution. So if you wanted to keep this at high resolution, you need to actually put a resolution in there. But remember, if you put a higher resolution, Photoshop Elements will try and fill in the pixels and will distort it slightly. If you're just wanting to send it off to a friend, you may want to reduce it. But again, Photoshop then takes out some of the pixels. So let's leave it as it is at the moment. So I have the size that I wanted. Now I'm thinking, well, it's looking a little bit washed out. So I'm going to improve the light. And here I'm going to add a layer. This button shows you what's called adjustment layers. And what it does, it adjusts the picture underneath. So if I click on this, I'm going to choose Levels. And Levels is the best way, I think, of improving the lighting of a picture. And it doesn't work in all cases. You might need one of the other options. But this is the one I use the most. So if you look at the Levels panel down here, you'll see I've got a histogram. And these arrows show me first the dark areas, the mid-tones, and the light areas. So I can drag these to change the levels. So I'm going to make this a bit darker. So I click and drag the dark. That's much better. And I think I'm going to make some areas a bit lighter. The lighter, I'm going to bring out a bit. Let's have a look at the mid-tones. Maybe the darken a little bit more. And that's much better. But it's looking a little bit, what I would think is a little bit oversaturated, a little bit too green. So the next thing you can do is you can add a color level. So again, I go to my adjustment level button and I choose hue and saturation. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn down the saturation a little bit so it's not quite so much in your face just a little bit and I could I've changed the lightness but this is another area where you could change the lightness so I could decide I want it light or darker but I'm going to leave it as it is now we want to save it you might decide you want to save all these changes that you've made so you go to file save and what I like to do is create a folder underneath a folder that actually contained the picture in the first place. So let's create a new folder and I call it cleaned. And I'm going to call this horses. Save. 
but this is actually saved in the Photoshop format so it's not something you can send so to send it you go to file save as and you change this Photoshop format to a JPEG file I'm going to just overwrite that with just horses here we can decide the resolution of the picture and this is important because if we put it on large which is two megabytes that's quite a lot to send through an email so we want it the quality to be a, a bit lower than that and say 300 which is about a, a medium quality okay and there we have a picture ready to send to our friends